The work of a rehearsal room is to question all the time. Sometimes we can get stuck in a rut. <laughs> what is it that, that actors struggle with? What is it they actually need in a rehearsal room? We tell the actors, well, look, there's this variant. There's a quarto variant, Shakespeare revised it, and then he does this in a later printing. You know, you choose. We're trying to replace the mythology about the plays with a more nuanced sense of the historical basis. Actors often weren't aware of the editorial decisions that were being made. Editors weren't aware of the way in which actors were interpreting their text. So we thought we could use scholarly texts, take the actual words of Shakespeare's plays as scholars now think they ought to stand, and make that available to actors with just the information that an actor needs. The main aim behind these annotated performance editions, uh, I think, is to empower actors. It's just so glorious to have so much information in, in, in one copy, rather than having a whole library in your rehearsal room. One of the things that we wanted to deal with was the idea of variant texts of the play. Because although we are historians of drama, we are not fundamentalist antiquarians who think that the, the only way of doing a play is the way that it was done 400 years ago. Of course it's not. It was about empowering actors to feel that they could see those choices quite easily that were open to them and might be able to make a case to a director for a different variant reading at any point. It reminds us there is no definitive version and so it has given me as a director and actors I've worked with in a room a freedom and a validation. They'll also enable more ensemble productions where the actors and the director are all working as a team. That's the basic idea underlying um, this series. What we are doing with the RSC now is a new project to make it possible for the directors of RSC plays to have contact with academics. For a long time I was quite terrified of the relationship between academia and professional theatre making. It's only really since working for the Royal Shakespeare Company and having the relationship with the University of Birmingham that it's just become incredible. We know what we want to say to the director. The director has their own creative agenda. Things will emerge that we never expected to emerge from that conversation taking place in this room. You will not know at the start of the day what will have happened by the end of the day. The remarkable thing about Shakespeare is that every so often a few plays enter the, the public's imagination and what our academic friends can offer us is a real insight into what, what was bubbling underneath the, 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 the public consciousness at the time and then I can relate it to what's, what I feel like is happening right now, bring those two things together.